So hello there and welcome to Ivar's Fly Workshop and today we are tying a flag which is called Alter. Alter is originated from England I think and the thread we are using it's an Uni 80 black and the hook we are using is it's an RX wet fly traditional wet fly number 10 I guess yeah 10 it is so we will start by attaching the thread to the shank of the hook and the altar is like a quite simple pattern and I'm my feeling is that uh, the altar is like and among other wet flies is like um, making way for other all, all other types of flies today in the boxes of Icelandic anglers at least so I just want to tie one to show, show you guys how I do it. So the, the fly has no tail or butt or anything. So we just grab like four or five fibers of, um, of good pico curls and attach them down to the shank of the hook and, and get them <coughs> to the position that we we will like to keep it and you will wrap the uh, pico curl around the shank of the hook and secure it down with the thread like so like uh, it's like half a centimeter or I don't know two or three millimeters behind the eye and that's simply because we have to place like a small like a mini hackle on this fly before the wing comes in those are the hackle uh, feathers I'm using. Those are tiny ones which uh, my father got me back like probably 30 years back. And those are really small, suitable for for small kind of flies like this. And even smaller, it's just an excellent leg material as well. And he got it, my father got me those hackle feathers yeah it's probably 30 years back and he bought them in either it's either Hull or Grimsby in England when he was sailing with frozen fish so we take hackle pliers and grab the stem of the feather and try to comb the uh, try to comb the uh, fibers like backwards with your fingers like so and now we just lock in the stem of the feather and do it like this a couple of tight wraps so nothing will be turning back so then we will snip off the stem and then we have to try to like split the hackle kind of in in the middle and try to squeeze it downwards each side so we are like kind of like making a, like a like a place for the wing to sit on. This is a turkey quill, and we can use either turkey quill or even a ring pheasant, like a lady ring pheasant uh, feather, something which is like brownish colored like this and soft enough that will definitely do the elder so i pinch those together so they're like sticking out uh, it's half and then i measure out about the length of the wing i prefer and the wing is like uh, it's, it goes a little bit after like uh, further back than the bend of the hook as you will see something like that and then I we to take the so-called pinch wraps just get off with it and pinch the thread take it under and around and then pull it upwards like this to um, to secure the feather <clears throat> this way the pinch wrap is uh, one of the methods to be good fly tire you need to know the pinch wrap and you need to kind of uh, 
work with it so so you will start to get like a directly exactly the wing position of the wing that you wanted it's like it's gonna take few few flies for you guys but it's since i could do this you can do it definitely i had to learn some things in the flight tying i had some things i had to learn the hard way but the fly is almost ready the elder fly And we'll put on it like a couple of whiff finish knots and then we'll just trim off the trim off the uh, thread and then the only thing left is the is the paint job <coughs> to give the fly like a little coat of varnish on the on the hat and here comes the varnish And try to, of course, yeah, not <laughs> blind the eye, but I wasn't careful enough, so I blinded the eye, and I'm gonna show you then the method I use to clean the eye. We take like a part of a pico pico curl, like a leftover which you can find in your trash or or somewhere. I use it like this, like a brush. The the varnish will just sit on the. On the feather like and it will clean the eye definitely totally clean the eye and here you here you guys here you guys have it alder i think thanks for watching and and please like share and subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you guys in the next video take care